Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to repair .NET Framework on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in Control Panel. Best match, should come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by two large icons. And then you want to go down and select Programs and Features. On the left side, select to turn Windows Features on or off. And then where it says .NET Framework, anything in here, go ahead and unselect any boxes in here that have that, and then select OK. And go ahead and select the Restart Now button. And now open up the search menu, type in Windows Features, best match, or come back with turn Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up, and then turn those Net Framework items back on, and then select OK. So just basically just click inside both of those boxes now, and then select OK once you've done that task. And select Let Windows Update Down the Files for you. Okay, so it says it's completed the requested changes, and then you want to select Close. If you're still having a problem, something else I'd recommend trying as well, open up a web browser, and I'm going to have a link to this Microsoft download page here. Directly from Microsoft, it's going to be the Microsoft.NET Framework Repair Tool. Select the orange Download button, and go ahead and open up the file once it's done downloading. Make sure Verify Publisher is Microsoft Corporation, and select Yes. And you can close out the web browser at this time. You want to accept the license terms and select Next. Select Next again. And then select Next one more time here. And then once it's done, select Finish. You can delete this file on the desktop you don't need it and go ahead and restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that should have been a pretty straightforward process for you. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.